Hello, my name is Andy Fadenholtz. I am a neurology recruiter at Rossman Search, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to prepare for a phone interview. So the first step, how do I get a phone interview? You can apply directly to a program. Um, you can utilize a recruitment firm such as ours. Calls are normally scheduled, but not always. We have seen chairs of department receive a CV and just pick up the phone and call a candidate without letting anyone know. So with that being said, if you see a number from a state that you had applied to and you're busy, it might be better to let that go to voicemail. Make sure your voicemail is set up and not full. We have had candidates in the past that don't have a voicemail set up or it is full. It's very important to make sure you're prepared for the first step of, of the phone interview process. Also check your spam folder. Uh, we have a lot of We've seen a lot of emails end up in spams folders of, of potential candidates and the recruiters like, they never responded to me. And it just so happens that it's sitting in their spam. Uh, your goal for the phone interview should be to invi be invited in for an in-person visit or at least a Zoom interview. You wanna obtain enough information about the program to decide whether or not you would like to move forward. You can always ask to speak with your family before moving forward with next steps. Don't feel obligated to answer directly when you're on the phone interview with the stakeholder and say you'd like to come in if you're not sure. So let's talk about some questions to avoid. Try not to ask about money, vacation time, benefits. Uh, it really just is a bad first impression. Uh, avoid the word work-life balance. It's like a trigger word for stakeholders to think you're lazy. I know none of you are lazy, but it just comes off that way. So there are some questions that you can ask. Um, would you mind sharing a little bit more about your specific needs and why you're hiring right now? What type of equipment is available? Could you tell me a little bit more about the schedule? You need to be prepared to and know who you're speaking with. Uh, if you put your information out on uh, a recruitment page uh, or you're sending your CV out to a lot of programs, it's important to stay organized. I, I've had candidates in the past that have got phone calls and, and like, oh, who's this? Who are you again? Because they've applied to so many different places. So stay organized, know who you're speaking with, do your research on the positions that you have applied for. If you have any questions about the phone interview process, please feel free to call or email me at any time.